favorite. Yeah. Three years ago, after a 32-year career in construction, Tamala Lester decided to drop everything and start spending her days helping animals in need, like Olive, Ethel, Miss Piggy, and Pumbaa. Eating like pig. So she started the Barnyard Sanctuary in Columbia, New Jersey. Hey, Pumbaa. A nonprofit organization that cares for displaced farm Olive. pets. Every animal that's here has a very unique story. Some of them have been coming from tragic, tragic circumstances. Some of them were rescued from meat markets. Some were the product of a divorce. It's just, everybody's unique. I spent all my day out here with you. Unlike other farm sanctuaries, this one only takes in farm animals that were pets. Nothing wild. And if possible, Tamala and her volunteers find them a new home. Hi, Hershey. Right now, they have 700 animals. I laugh because the only thing we're missing right now, and please don't bring me one, is an emu, an ostrich, or a peacock. And I do have five peacocks coming in next week, so I'll have to modify that statement. <laughs> but it's chickens, bunnies, and ducks that make up the bulk of the animals. And those tend to come to her because of, well, a lack of forward planning. Like baby chickens and ducks in kindergarten classes. They hatch, and then teachers realize they don't know what to do with them. I'm kind of like the repository for mistakes. <laughs> right now, and this may come as a surprise, the sanctuary is actually getting more roosters than anything else due to the increased popularity of backyard chicken flocks. People are ordering chickens trying to get all females and then discovering some of their hens are actually roosters who, because of this noise, aren't welcome in most neighborhoods. I literally have been receiving roosters from five states. I have people that have, are driven here from Baltimore. We have at this point, after this spring, we have well over 200 roosters. Tamala says she chose to care for pets because of the emotional attachment humans have to them that can't be undone. For her, it's an honor to nurture that bond when the original owner no longer can. I feel good. I feel real, I feel great, um, making a difference, and and I get to do what I've always wanted to do: rescue animals, even the loud ones, <laughs> even the roosters, even when they jump up and spur me and stick me with their with their claws. <laughs>